All right, take three. So we have our osmosis worksheet here. We got two pages, one, two. I'm gonna walk you through a few of these problems so you know what to do. There are three things to do with each of these problems, except for on page one. We only have A and B. I added C in on page two, okay? So for page one, we only have A and B to fill out. So here's what we do. We've got a, a cell sitting in a solution. The cell in this case is 90% water and the solution is 85% water. So the first thing we need to do is indicate the direction the water will flow. So it will flow into, out of, or in equal directions. In this case, since 90% is bigger than 85%, water diffuses from high to low concentration. So water will flow out of the cell, out. And if that's the case, we're dealing with a solution that we call hypertonic. Hyper, of course, means more than. If you're hyperactive, you have more activity than normal, right? That's because this 15% is greater than this 10%. So the solution is hypertonic. This is like when we put our egg in the corn syrup, right? The corn syrup has a high concentration of sugar and it's real thick and viscous. Um, so water moved from the egg out. And that's exactly what happened here, right? Here's another problem, one right next to it. Will water move in or out of the cell? Well, 40% compared to 90%, which is bigger. That's right, 90. And if that's the case, water will on average flow into the cell, making it bigger. That's what happens when we put our, water, our egg in our water. So water will flow into the cell, and that makes it a hypotonic solution. All right, there. There's a couple examples there. Now on page two, it's the same exact situation except we have part C, which is to say, fill in the percentages. So let's do that first. Let's actually do part C first. So if we have 10% solute inside the egg, what percent is water? 90%, right? If you have in the solution, if we have 20% solute, what percent is water? Of course, 80%. All right, so you just write those percentages in there, in that order. So egg, solution, egg, solution, egg, solution, or cell solution. The next thing we do is we go back, pretend like we're on page one. 90% is greater than 80%, so water will move out, which means it is in a hypertonic environment because 20% is bigger than 10%. So for A, you always talk about what the direction of water flow, look at water percentages, and for B to figure out if it's hypertonic or hypotonic, you gotta look at the percent of the solute, okay? Here's this other one, we got 60%. How'd I know that? Because the rest of it's solute. 30% solute, that means 70% water, right? Which is bigger, 70 or 60? 70, so water will flow into the egg, which means it's a hypotonic solution. Okay, thank you. That should do it. If you have other questions, of course, email me. But there goes your little tutorial on the osmosis worksheet. Thank you to my videographer, daughter Madeline. Thank you, bye.